What's up guys, it's your boy NLG Don back again with another video. Today's video will be reacting to Fast and Curious 2. Before we end the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications on. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at NLG Don. And comment below type of video I'm gonna react to what type of video I'm gonna do. But that's it, so let's get into the video. Alright, so we from react to this Fast and Furious, I mean Fast and Curious 2. Let's get it. I'm walking around the house in my SpongeBob underwear. Yes. That's important to the story. Walk into the kitchen to get myself a little snacky snack. Snacky snack. My dad walks in. He's standing there with his look on his face. What's wrong with you? I just got a new engine for my Beamer. Okay, you want a cookie? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? This you need to see tall. what all this power is like. You're driving around your little Toyota Corolla. You need to see what it's like to have a real man's car. Let's what? go. I spent a lot of money on what? this engine. Okay, let me go put some pants on. Let's go. Dad, I'm not getting in the car in my underwear. You're not getting out of the car. You're getting in the car, driving up the street, and coming back. Okay, I'm just gonna... Get the keys. <laughs> now, my dad is the chillest dude I know, and it's a lot. Fully dressed. I'm gonna get this aggravated this quickly. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll get the keys. You still gotta walk from my house to the car and the neighbors could possibly see you open the front door peek out no tmz i start sneaking to the car like this is metal gear solid he's following behind me all slow shaking his head like i have raised an idiot so we get in the car and there's this long stretch of road from the entrance of my development to the first house in the development so i start driving to leave the neighborhood punch it dad we're still in the neighborhood i said Punch, punch it. it. Uh, we're still technically in the neighborhood, so maybe how about no? Stop it's being so punk. Punch. Why? It. Why you make yourself so okay. short? Okay. Wow, Dad, it's a nice engine you got there, bro. You're such a little wimp. Turn the car around. I get to the entrance. Turn around. Punch it. Okay, Dad. This is growing my mind. Can we go home now? No, no, you're such a little punk. Floor it. Pedal to the metal. You know what that means? <sighs> Something okay, wrong. Man. You finish So you have chosen death. And I go full Dominic Toretto. <laughs> I glance over at him and he's like. <laughs> I see why it's called Fast and Curious. <laughs> He thinks I'm done. I'm not. Run it. I'm ready to die. Now. Then in the corner of my eye, I notice this Lexus in my rear view mirror just darting up on me. Think it's a race? So I start slowing down. This dude comes from behind me and busts like a knife. Low key freaking out because this guy's blocking the road in both directions. This guy gets out, slams his door. <laughs> Do you have any idea? Then he looks at me. And he sees me in my extra medium <laughs> SpongeBob tidy whities Do you have any idea what what are you doing? My kids are playing in the driveway. There are like huge veins bulging out of this dude's neck. But what made this even more scary is this dude looks like the office nerd that never speaks. If you saw him at work and you were like, "Hey Todd, how's it going?" He'd be like, <laughs> "So this guy's yelling at us, but there's one key thing he didn't know. My dad." It's from Trinidad. Never run up on a Trini who's lived in New York. So then he awakens my dad's inner crazy yeah. person. This is a private road. I can drive as fast as I want. I can do whatever I want. So then it's just a yelling competition at this point. It's a private road. But my kids. It's a private road. Where my kids. And I'm in the middle of like, road. My kids. Oh, my so kids. while all this is going on, in my head, I'm just waiting for my dad to jump out the car because I know that's what's next. And I'm praying to God that doesn't happen. Because if he jumps out the car, I'm going to have to jump out the car and pull him off of this dude. Because mm -hmm. I already know how that story's going to end. And then what happened? Facts. Well, then we left Bible study, and we pulled into our neighborhood, and there were these two guys fight. No, 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 nobody cares about that part. Tell us about the crackhead. The oh, crackhead. yeah, there was this crackhead in the middle of the street oh, dancing no. and cheering them on, and he was butt naked. Susie from YouTube! You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. All YouTubers are on crack. 
Back to you guys in the studio. So I'm here just giving my dad this look That's like. Funny. Please don't get out of the car. Please. Now when you want the war with a Trini slash New Yorker, the best you can do is break even. You're not gonna win. Even though my neighbor was clearly the aggressor when he ran up on us, by the time my dad was done with them, he was like, <laughs> So then my neighbor sucks back to his car and then takes off back to his house. And I'm like, Dad, he's right. Well, he should keep the kids inside the house because kids, kids don't even play outside no more. See, I know he's still mad and I'm not trying to argue, so I just dead it right there. Talk to me nice. Yeah, not for nothing, my dad do, was right? the representative during that whole altercation because I didn't say anything the entire time. Because no. you never know the ripples that your action caused. I've seen the movie Butterfly Effect. I know how this works. Actually, I never saw the movie, but I saw the trailer and I kind of know what the movie's about. I just didn't want this to be how our neighbor remembers us. So, I get home, go inside, put on some clothes, and then drive over to my neighbor's house. I pull up and his kids are still outside. Get out of the car and I kind of see that his garage is open. So I start walking to the garage. His son is in the grass playing with a ball, and as soon as he sees me, he's like, so I start walking around to the garage and I can see the dad in the garage and you could tell he's still mad by his body language. <laughs> so then I yell out to him like, excuse me, sir. And he turns and when he sees it's me, he goes, <gasps> So crazy, he had a crazy look. Man. This man looked at me like I was the Terminator coming for him and his unborn child. <laughs> what the fuck is it, bruh? What is this? So I was like, uh, think fast, talk fast. Uh, sir, no, 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 uh, it's a uh, sir. Sorry <laughs> about for how my dad was acting back there. You were right. He just got a brand new engine, and he wanted He's me to test it out. Whip. Very ah. sorry. Once my dad saw that the road was empty, and nobody was around, and nobody can get hurt, he wanted me to Trying test to out his better. engine. I wanted to come over here and just, you know, apologize. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, thank you for coming and letting me know this. So, I appreciate that. Um... Well, name's Adonde. If you ever need anything, I'm in that White House. White Why House is there. Later that night, I start thinking to myself, I know this dude is gonna tell his wife about all this. And I can only imagine how his version of the story is gonna go. Honey, our neighbors were racing in the neighborhood, and I ran down behind them. I got to their car and I put them in their place. Don't you ever come in here in my neighborhood and race. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir we'll never yes, do it again. You're so big and strong. And they were petrified of me. I think our neighbors are cross-dressers. There's nothing wrong with it, I'm just saying. They are both in there wearing women's lingerie. And also, I can smell crack in the car. I'm gonna call the HOA first thing in the morning and let them know. I think our neighbors are cross-dressing drug dealers. You're such a brave <laughs> man, honey. I'm so Why sorry for never cheating on you with the janitor on that cruise ship. It's okay. alright, honey. Love you, good night. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the end of the video. That's the end of the video. But if y'all enjoy, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the notification on, and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok and energy down. And comment below that video. I'm also gonna type of video I'm gonna react to. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this is pretty funny, bro. Fast, I feel fast and curious. I, I see dudes in the draws and stuff like that. What a shame. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. And that's been your boy NLT Don. I'll be back with another video. Peace.